Hey y'all, it's Kelly Tilton, your star director, and I'm trying something new for follow-ups with the team meetings, so hopefully you guys like this and that it works. So yesterday for our team meeting, we talked about goal setting, and we did a little activity. So I would like you guys to take a minute, get a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil, and on your piece of paper, I want you to draw your business as a beach scene. I know it sounds funny, but just do it. There's reasonings behind it. So as you're drawing it, pause this video, and when you finish, come back and we'll finish what, talking about what, we, um, what it means, the way that you drew your business. So if you have drawn your business as a beach, I want to talk to you now about what it means for the things that you have put into your beach scene. So first we're going to talk about um, if you have rays of sunshine on there. Um, the sunshine in your beach is your driving why. Why or what draws people to your business and also the team atmosphere. If you have a downline or even just our whole entire group atmosphere, the sunshine represents that. So what is the feeling, the overall feeling for your business? Um, the next thing that a lot of people draw when they're at the beach is clouds. Some people will have storm clouds, some people will have happy fluffy white clouds, but there some, and some people may not have any clouds at all, and that's okay. But if you have clouds, we're going to start with the positive clouds, the happy white fluffy clouds. Um, those clouds represent successes and achievements achieved by yourself and or other people um, in your team or group. Um, the, what successes do you want? So on your fluffy clouds, you would want to write any of your successes. And back to the sun, any whatever your why is or what, what you want your business, the ultimate goal of your business to be, write that on your sun. And then on the rays of your sun, write down um, how you're going to get there. Okay, so moving on to storm clouds. Storm clouds, if you have any of those on your paper, we need to get them out of there. Those are obstacles, weaknesses, and excuses stopping you from moving your business forward. Um, you have, if you have them, to become, um, have them become what you overcome. So if you write on those storm clouds what it is that's holding you back from achieving your ultimate goal, which is your sunshine. Um, if anybody drew any waves on their beach, these are the things that you will actually do. So on your waves, make sure that you write things that you're going to do. Um, some people may have had, you know, at our team meeting, we had people who had waves that we were being blocked by rocks and stuff, and we had people who were surfing on the waves, and we kind of went a little bit further into what it means to have the waves and stuff. And what I explained is the waves is kind of like your success, how you're going to get there. So. In a minute, I'll show you my beach scene picture. Um, but other people even had uh, rocks on their beach and stuff. And I also see rocks as like obstacles to get a, you have to go around these rocks or overcome them and, or move them even so that you can get to where you want to be or bring those waves of success into your beach. So um, real fast here, I'll show you what my beach scene had looked like. Um, I did this at leadership. So hopefully you can see it. Um, there's a person surfing on the beach and there's somebody coming out to ride the wave with her and then there's a couple other people just kind of sunbathing and then there's some birds flying and stuff like that. So I think this is a great representation of what my business looks like um, and I hope you also take a t the minute and the time to really focus in on what your business is going to look like this year in 2014. So the next little thing that I have for you guys to do is what we call our weather forecast, your 2014 forecast. And what I want you to do is take a look here. This is what they gave us at convention, or not convention, sorry, at leadership. And on the bottom here, it says create your 2014 forecast. And on it, I want you to make 12 columns, and that'll be each month of the year. And then I want you to write three rows. One will be your PRV for each month, one will be recruits that you would like to get, and the bottom one will be team promotions. And team promotions can be personally you or anybody in your downline promoting up a level or more. So um, 
I have gone back, how I did this, is I went back through last year's, um, my stats for last year, and I based my goals for this year off of what I did last year. And um, that, if you guys need any help with that, just let me know. I can help you look it up and um, help you set the goals. But basically, you go in the performance tab, and you can see, you can click on, there's a little drop down arrow box and you can click on it and it'll pull up each month and you can click on each month and see what your sales were, if you got any new recruits or anything like that. And so I would base your, six, your, your recruiting and your promoting up according to what usually happens throughout the year as well. And like this month we have a great recruiting promotion going on, it's a great month to try and get new recruits. Um, March is another good one if you sell for Sensi or Velada because it is when the new spring catalog comes out and a lot of people get excited. Sales are a little bit higher during that time. Um, convention is in July and that's a really good time to get people learning about the business, what it is, so post pictures on Facebook or email pictures out about what's going on with the company as well. Um, so that's pretty much what I want you guys to be doing this month. I am going to hold a drawing for anybody who does this. If you um, do draw your beach and post post it on our group page, and then also you need to draw up, write up your forecast and post that as well. Or you can email that to me if it's a little bit more personal and you are aren't quite comfortable doing that. I would hope everybody's comfortable with everybody to post their goals. Um, and when you do that, we're going to hold a drawing for a goodie bag of business supplies. So I'd like everybody to do that. Also, I have some calendars, and I don't have it here, but I'll take a picture and I'll post it for you. But it's the 2014 calendars, and on that, I would like you guys to um, actually have about eight, maybe five or eight of them left. And the first five to post their pictures will get a calendar. And um, some people got them when they came to the team meeting. So those who got them already won't be qualifying to get them again. But on this calendar, it's your, it's your business calendar. On this, I want you to only put Sensi family related things on it. When you want to party, highlight those days. Take this calendar with you to parties so that it's easier for people to see when you're available. If you have family things, put those on a completely different catalog that you're going to keep at your house. But if there's a day that you really can't party, make sure you put a big X on it on your Sensi calendar so that when people are looking at it and they can't maybe party on the days that you desire to, they can look at it and then see what maybe other days might be available as well. So um, that's pretty much it. I'm excited for 2014 and I hope you guys have a great day. Talk to you later, money makers. Bye.